Yo, what's up guys? So in this video I'm going to tell you what a crop sensor camera is, what effects it has on the image quality and feel of view, what a full frame sensor has and the advantages and disadvantages to either of the sensors. So, let's go. Okay, I have here uh, something to illustrate what I'm about to tell you. So, an APS-C camera is a crop camera, it's a crop sensor. So, I'm going to um, show you. So, this is your typical APS-C sensor, just imagine it. Well, an EF image circle is way bigger than the APS-C sensor itself. So, what does that mean? It means that it effectively um, crops in into the field of view of a lens because hold on a full frame sensor utilizes the whole image circle of a Canon EF lens that means a smaller sensor is cropping in or just capturing the middle of the image circle that means it is just a small part of the lens so what does that mean? If you have a 1.6 crop, like most of the APS-C cameras have, you effectively multiply the focal length. Keep in mind though, the focal length of your lens does not change. That means that the field of view, I mean, that's the field of view obviously changes. I mean, the um, depth of field does not change. It still stays, for example, at 50 mil the depth of field stays at 50 mm and all these other characteristics are too. Just the field of view crops down from a 50 mm to an about 80 mm equivalent focal length. So as I said, keep in mind the focal length, the physical focal length does not um, change, just the effective field of view. So your 50 mm on a 1.6 crop just handles like an 80 millimeter. So what does that mean? What advantages has an APS-C camera? Well, just imagine a 400 millimeter prime lens, which is a pretty nice tele lens. Or just you can use it um, for a, a 200 as well. It works on every single tele focal length. Well, for example, a 200 mm on full frame, it is 200 mm field of view, but on a crop, it's 320 mm, and that is way more um, tight. You can zoom in further um, with this field of view of 3200, um, excuse me, 320 uh, mm equivalent. So you're getting an advantage. You don't have to invest in crazy. Uh, you don't have to invest a crazy amount of money into tele lenses because you can get a step back, but crop in with your sensor. So you have to keep in mind every focal length is multiplied, but that also has disadvantages, like wide angle lenses. You're cropping the wide angle lenses. That means you're not getting a wide angle effect anymore, as opposed to a full frame, which retains the full frame advantage being a wide um, sensor to capture more of the scenery, a wider field of view. So you're getting a nice ultra wide, whereas on the uh, crop bodies, you cannot really do that. To more advantages and disadvantages, be sure to stay tuned to my next video. We'll be talking about more technical stuff of the sensor. So be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.